Just like that, send. Hey, that was our first synchronized movement right there. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is a slider update because this thing is fully functional. So let's get it, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Now have a look at that. It's my slider. And in my last update, you can check it out right here. I said that I still need to wait on a few parts, namely on a quick release plate. So let's take a look at this wonderful thing. It's the cheapest one that I found. Pretty cool though. Whoa, so that's the part for the camera. It's already on there. Yes, I bought two for whatever reason. And slides on just like that. I removed this bigger thread and I also removed this pin right here. I don't know what, like, what the hell is this pin for. And then I printed this cube, basically. It is a literally a chest cube with five holes on top. I figured the best position for this release plate is in the middle right here. And for me to be able to move it in this direction, I, well, there are five holes in this cube and I have two screws, so I have like four positions. And I think this is already at the, yeah, this is all the way on this end. And I did this to counterbalance this U-frame. But the thing is, now the camera is actually a bit too high up there. It's not too bad. And I need to bring it back all the way. Let's get this screw tight. So that's how it looks like. It is fairly balanced in this range of movements, but as you can see, if I bring it, yeah, it tips over just a bit. It's not too bad, but it does tip over. But the motors are easily able to hold the weight in place. So that's this part held by these two screws. It's a fairly easy concept. So figuring that out, that wasn't too hard, but again, there is a software. Thankfully, it was so freaking easy. It's the same software as for the CNC. It's GRBL. For my CNC, I used the GRBL Mega version. This is the GRBL 1.1. For the Arduino with the CNC shield and I also exchanged this motor because the previous motor only had a rather short cable but now I have a rather long one so everything works out nicely. So that's the setup. It is actually so freaking easy and I was like hey the mechanical part that's the easy part but the software is the hard part but actually nope. Software is easy. It's literally so freaking easy you just need the shield. So yeah let me take that back. The mechanical part is definitely it was way way harder <laughs> than the software part. Yeah and on this stick I have the GRBL panel. So let's hopefully Yes. Alrighty, so here it is, GRBL panel 1.0.917. Let's open it up. Oh, this is not looking good on the screen. The scaling is pretty messed up, but whatever. Let's connect it, COM4 apparently, and I already set up everything. My max speed rate is 10,000. I have 10.0.12.12 as acceleration for X, Y, and Z. There's not much to it, but it still took me quite a while to figure everything out on my own. There aren't as many tutorials on this thing, but once you figure it out, it's, it's actually fairly easy. But yeah, let's stop the talking. Let's actually get this thing to work. And if I'm, oh my God, please, yeah, there it is. Okay, that was actually kind of stupid because now it's locked in this position. Oh God, I'm such a genius. There it is in the middle, There's something like that. That's my home position, just somewhat in the middle. Oh my God, why is this so hard? Okay, there it is. Now all the steppers are active and that's yet another thing that you need to dial in because GRBL likes to go to sleep after a command. Well, at least when you use this panel. But yeah, let's, let's get this thing to do something. Hey. So, it is so freaking nice. In my last vlog, I tested this thing with dragon frame and keyframes and I was like real time synchronization. Oh, it's so crazy. But well, GRBL does everything. Steppers start at the same time and they end at the same time. Oh my God, I just, I just noticed that. That's obviously bad. Never mind, I wasn't able to fix it in like a few seconds. So let's just forget about that. 
who cares? So let's see what we can do and let's actually power on this camera and oh, it's so sketchy. Like it's, <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, it should, it should be fine. Say hello to the vlog camera. Well, that was the wrong direction. Hey. Let's go. That's pretty cool. So that's my setup. GRBL panel on my laptop with the slider. So let's actually do something with it. So let me just grab this thing and let's put it right there, maybe. Right freaking there. Okay, now comes the interesting part because, well, let's take a video. Let's get to a demonstration. Okay, so let's lock onto this little thing right here. Let's switch to video mode and what is it? Oh, it's continuous focus, that's good. Alrighty, so there it is. Okay, just like that. That will be our first position right here, so that's a bit tedious because I need to note down the coordinates, just like that, G1, X, Y, and Z with a feed rate. And now we need to find out, well, we need to find a second position, so let's just move the slider over here. More, 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 more. Yeah, that's looking good, I guess. Oh my god, stop! Okay, stop, 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 what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's bring this other one around. Nope, oh my god, oh my god, I just... God damn it, I just messed it up, seriously. I'm stupid. Just had to reset it to the zero position right here, because I don't have soft limits or anything like that in place. So let's zero that out, and let's hit the first command, just like that, send. Hey, that was our first synchronized movement right there. Freaking sweet. And now let's try that again. Let's bring it over here. So the part where I messed up was the distance. I need to change that to a way lower increment. And now I will be able to get this to move as intended. Okay. Nope. Hey, that's perfect. So that's the second position right here. And now I need to note all these coordinates. So this is G1 for a synchronized movement with the feed rate. And then I just need to, okay, there it is. These are my coordinates with a feed rate of 5,000, which is fairly fast, but it's not like crazy fast. And I already inserted this command. So let's send this thing to the first position. So that's what it can do and I'm so freaking stupid because I moved this thing around. Okay, let's get the second position again. So this is looking good and I, okay, I need to redo the first position. Hey, there it is. Okay, let's go to the other position. Alrighty, let's see. Hey, so this is looking way better. Let's check this out in the monitor. So that's the thing right there. Okay, now let's actually take a video. Well, there it is. That was the first <laughs> video of this slider. Well, the first video for this vlog, that is. But the thing is, I don't know if you noticed or not, or if it was even noticeable during this demonstration, but like the whole construction, <laughs> it's kind of bad because these belts are fairly long, which makes it kind of bouncy. It's like a rubber band and it has a some sort of a swing to it. Oh, I'm so good at explaining. But when this thing powers up and accelerates, there is a certain, well, area of speed where it will start to wiggle. So there might be a part of the acceleration where it just like wiggles around and then it gets more stable and then it, when it stops it will start to wiggle again and that means a very long distance works better than a small distance because then it has the time to accelerate and smoothly track the object and then you know decelerate and start to wiggle around again. Well, let's keep on filming stuff, let me prepare something and I will see you in a bit. Okay, let's just go for a simple slide. Oh my god. So sketchy. It's... Why is it freaking... Oh, that is actually... That is actually not good. So have a look at that. I'm really lazy. I didn't want to do this, but here it is on two tripods. And the thing is... <laughs> it's not really much better. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> These would be better, I guess. Yeah, they probably would be, but yeah, whatever. 
here we go again with a slide. Oh my god, it's really freaking unstable. This is not good. Can you see it like swinging around and stuff? But once it's moving, it should be fine. So let's see, the, let's check this out. Yeah, that's a slow slide right there. <laughs> let's send it to minus 80. Hey, so that's way faster. Way faster. Come back, please. Hey, let's go. Now let's bring it to my face. Nope. Yep. Okay, that's not too bad. Now it should track my face uh, just a bit. Well, let's see. Yeah, there was the cheater. And there it is again. I can see it clearly. <sighs> this will give it a longer travel distance. There it is, now it's stable. Oh my god, this is bad. This is actually not good whatsoever. No, 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 this is not good. Once again. Nah, let's actually try it without sad movement. Maybe this will make it a bit better. Nope, the ch uh, this cheater, this wiggling is definitely coming from this axis, from the pan. God damn it! So without the pan... Mm, yeah, that's definitely way better. Let's just bring the Y to zero. Okay, let's bring it to five again. That's not looking too bad, I guess. That is actually not looking too bad. Let's bring it to one. Oh, frick. That was 15, not one. Oh my god. But hey, it survived. Hell yeah. And my camera is actually doing a fairly good job with the focusing. I wish I could vlog with this camera. I <laughs> Why doesn't the freaking microphone work with it? But yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing so far. I will get to way more demonstrations in my upcoming vlog. You can check it out right here. Going mobile, fully mobile slider. I <laughs> I already worked it out. But yeah, that's it for now. As you can see, there are still a few problems and all in all, the build is pretty flawed. It would be so cool to just rebuild everything with C-beams and lead screws and make it like rigid as heck, just like the CNC. It would probably cost like 500 to a grand, something like that. I don't know about it though, something like that. But it would certainly be possible to build something really, really rigid because this is like, nah, this is... <laughs> this is no good, but it should hopefully work for the first applications. For example, getting a few sweet product videos for my belly songs so that I can finally start with the belly song tutorials, whatever. Yeah, but that's enough progress for today's smash that like button away. I didn't smash anything today. My build is still good even though it's a bit unstable. <laughs> Bang the bell like crap, pop, to never miss a DIY slider a vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.